everybody, it's Martin from the Washboard Resonators. This is a video uh, for you resonator owners and uh, maybe your guitar has developed um, a rattle. It's quite common with resonator guitars because of the mechanical nature for things to become unsettled and start causing weird buzzes and rattles. Um, I'm going to try and work through my tricone here which has developed a buzz. Okay, so here's the guitar. <laughs> to hear that rattle. Now I was playing this guitar last week and there was more rattling than that. It seems to have gone away a little bit. Okay so let's look at the main places where you can get a rattle. In the past I've got rattles from the cover plate being loose. I've got rattles from the tailpiece pressing against the body and rattling. In this case it's open. There's some felt under there now. Um, I've also had rattles coming from the cones themselves inside on the body not being even or whatever um, in the case of tricones there's like a metal t-bar section that sits on top of the cone sometimes they become seated in a way that doesn't really help um, let's work through them and see if we can get to the bottom let's take these bits sequentially now so let's deal with the cover plate first <laughs> Pressing down, seeing if that makes the buzz go away. In this case, it doesn't. The next thing could be the tailpiece rattling. Now, I don't think that's the case, but let's just. The next thing is it could be the ball ends in, in the tailpiece. That sometimes, if they don't seat quite right, that can cause a problem. Now, in the past, what I do is I just press a finger pick through, see if that makes anything click into place. In this instance, it's not. So um, let's now try something else. I'm going to detune the guitar slightly, move the strings around, and then bring it back to pitch. I'll just do that. I'll switch off, and then we'll we'll look at that. So we're down tuned. Um, I've been playing about with the tailpiece, trying to move these uh, ball ends around. I'm still getting the rattle. So the next thing to do, it's a nice little thing to try, is on a tricone is now that we're down tuned, I'm going to try and just push the bridge both ways. Now, normally I wouldn't advise moving the bridge. This guitar was set up very well by a very good luthier, but I want to get rid of that rattle. So I'm gonna just try. So something like a pencil can help with a rubber end. I've got my um, pen here. I'm just gonna use this very gently just to push one way. You might be able to hear there, it's just a very little click, which is just the, the cones moving slightly. That vibe, that, uh, that buzz is still there. Um, sounds even slightly louder. I'm just going to try while the strings are down. Going back the other way. I can just see it moving ever so slightly. more like what it was the other day because what you'll hear there is that I've actually got other strings making terrible buzzing noises now. Okay so probably says it might be something more to do with the cones so let's um, I think there's only one thing for it we're going to take the guitar apart this is the first time I've taken this guitar apart fully and taken all the strings off since it was set up about two years ago um, normally I change strings and leave a certain number of strings on at any one time to keep the guitar where it was. In fact, we'll do a video about restringing and polishing these. That might be next week, actually. Um, so let's let's have a look inside and see if we can get to the bottom of it, move the cones around, see if there's anything up. Okay, so I've just been taking the strings off this guitar. One of the first things I notice is how loose this seems to be. Um, so we'll keep on taking all these bits off and then we'll make sure this goes on a bit tighter afterwards. Maybe that was what was causing some of it. There's just a little bit of play in it maybe at this end. Um, We'll soon find out. Here we go. 
this is the first look right now with you guys watching, uh, seeing what I can see. So straight away, I can see that there's quite a lot of dirt and dust in here, little dusty bit. This guitar does a couple of hundred gigs a year, so it certainly gets used. Now what I'm looking for is to see if there's anything rattling, anything touching. Just checking there under the, uh, the pickup. Oh, it's not touching. Uh, I'm just gonna go around now and just have a little tap. See, that sounds quite firm. If you move this out of the way. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a knock to that, isn't there? And probably even a little bit more of a knock to this on this side. Yeah, about there. A um, couple of things to watch out for sometimes with these is sometimes, depending how they are, the cones can touch together. That's quite a common thing. I was chatting to uh, Mark making the other, actually last week now, and asked his, his advice about this, and he said watch out for um, the cones touching, which there aren't. There's this little bit here. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little bit that sticks out. Let's move these out. There's a piece here, which the cones are meant to sit inside and they're meant to uh, stop it, keep them apart. But that's a place where sometimes the, the base plate can become a little bit uneven. So that could be a place. Um, just looking for any even bits of dirt or anything underneath there, underneath the cones. Um, what you'll see is that when this guitar went in for its setup at Beltona Instruments, um, we had a bit of a problem with, with buzzers on this guitar when I bought it. It was kind of fine, except in one particular tuning. And um, what Steve did was grind away some of these inside bits and he put these um, paper gaskets on, which not everybody does. I actually quite like these. I think they're kind of, um, when it came back with the, the new piece of wood on that, that Steve did, because whoever had this guitar before me, they changed this to another kind of wood that didn't sound very good. But this guitar came back sounding much, much, much more fuller and warmer and um, resonant. So perhaps these help. Right, here we go. Let's keep going. Okay, so I'm just uh, trying to clean off things like like this gunk here, which was on the cone edge. I've got some of it off, let's just keep going. Okay then, so I've just basically gone around all the points that make contact and cleaned them. Uh, I'm gonna start putting things back together and just checking out for any more like little rattles or loose bits. This might be um, a point of note as well on the tricones. This is a place which often rattles can develop. Um, because these little pointers seat through the holes on the cone. So they want to sit just right. If if any of these go out of shape or there's anything here, then they might not sit right. Then you'll get quite a loud rattle on top of those. So I'm just looking. I'm going to clean out the inside and uh, see if that helps. I thought you might want to see this. When I move this sideways, it's quite a lot of play. And you can see that actually the cones can be touching the side. So this is, this shows two things. It shows, first of all, why moving it, a touch could just stop there being a rattle. And number two, it shows that why when you change your strings on one of these guitars, if you've had it set up right and it works right and there's no um, buzzing, why you might want to always keep some of the strings on at, at pitch while you change new strings so that none of this can move because the string pressure is keeping everything pushed down. One more thing, then we'll put the cover plate on. So, um, it was suggested by Mark Makin last week that I could potentially put some uh, masking tape on the inside of the cover plate. That sometimes helps if you've got a rattle coming from your cover plate. Um, I don't think it's the cover plate from what we saw earlier, so I'm not going to do that this time, but that could be something if, if you're struggling to find a rattle and get rid of it, that could be something worth trying. Okay, so just showing that um, while I put these new strings on, make, I'm making sure the bridge is in the right place. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just using the tuner to uh, check that I'm in tune open, in tune at the 12th fret. Can't do this one hand, but the intonation is perfectly fine, so we can carry on. Okay, so we strung up. Um, I've tuned up, I've um, tuned the strings, slightly sharper, stretched them in, tune them, stretch them two or three times. Um, 
so they should be quite settled. Sounds nice. Okay, so I think we sorted it out. It seems seems to be fine now. Um, I hope that video helps. When I got into these kind of instruments um, <clears throat> ten years ago now, um, I used to drive myself mad trying to figure out what the rattles were. That would have been on my single cone, and usually it was the ball ends in the tailpiece, or it was the the cover plate needed a tighten. Um, could also be the cone if it's gone out of shape and it's sat on the well. Um, as we've seen, tricones are quite complex instruments, um, but I think we've gone through most of the things that it could be there. I'm sure there are others. Um, so I really hope this video helps you because if I'd have seen this a long time ago, it would have really saved me some time. And I don't think there's anything on YouTube quite like this at the moment. So hopefully that helps. Um, so yeah, so the, my name is Martin and the band is The Washboard Resonators. And um, I'm filming this during the coronavirus lockdown. And um, normally, you know, I would do 200 gigs a year as a professional um, with the resonators and other bands. So do help if you can, and you can do that just by uh, subscribing and liking and um, finding us on Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, liking, following, all that stuff. It really, really helps, costs nothing. Um, you can also, you know, um, buy a record, buy a t-shirt, that really helps as well. Um, right then, so yeah, uh, there we go. Thank you very much for uh, keeping with us and uh, hope to see you all again. And uh, yeah, I think I'll uh, black play out.